All right, everyone, for today's tech tip of the day, let's talk about the directives feature in Altium Designer and how engineers can utilize this feature to easily apply PCB design rules to specific nets. Whenever I'm doing a schematic capture for an electronics design, it's critical that I'm able to correctly convey the design intent from the schematic capture stage to the layout stage. This is especially true when designing for nets that require special considerations, things like our high speed nets, high voltage, or our differential pairs, where failure to correctly co convey this design intent could result in the failure of the design. The way that we specified this design intent in Altium Designer is through the use of directives. So let's switch to Altium Designer so we can take a look at an example PCB design for a high voltage motor drive. We can see in this example design that the engineer already used directives to specify their high voltage nets. If I click on any one of these directives, notice that we've specified a net class called HV. And notice I can place these individually to my nets one by one, or I can use blanket directives as in this case, anything within the dotted line falls underneath the scope of this HV directive as well. I happen to know for this design that I'm also gonna need a high current directive. So let me go ahead and place my directive. I can do either differential pair, which gets a special directive, or I can do my parameter set. And in this case, I'm gonna press pause, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this one HI for high current and I'm gonna add my net class, just like we saw in the other one, but instead of HV, we're gonna call this one HI also. Notice that we can add parameters, and more importantly, we can add design rules uh, directly using this directive. So I'm gonna add a design rule, and the design rules govern basically everything about how the PCB is built, everything from our electrical characteristics down to our manufacturing instructions and even special considerations for high speed. In this case, I want to specify a width routing constraint to make sure that my layout engineer is going to use the adequate amount of copper whenever I am doing my layout or my output stage for my motor drive. So now that my rule is specified, I'm going to place my directive on the output terminal for my motor drive. Okay, now we'll push those changes over to the PCB. Now we're gonna disable all of these. The ones that we're really interested in is down here at the bottom where we're adding a new net class called HI and we're adding a new design rule called our width constraint. So we'll enable these, execute the changes. And there we have it. Now when I come to my design rules in my PCB, notice that under my width routing, that schematic width constraint was added automatically. So that's the way that I, as a schematic engineer, can specify my design rules straight to my layout engineer. I hope this was some helpful information, and thanks for watching.